Archaeological discoveries are made every day all over the world, but not all of them are interesting. There are only so many broken old jugs or pieces of jewelry you can look at before you start to get bored. That isn't what this video is about though. This is a celebration of all the fantastic and unusual things that have been discovered recently, from lost treasure to unique historical artifacts. Sit back, put your feet up, and let us take you on a journey through the world of the strange. When a farmer started digging into his field in Shika Island, Japan, all he wanted to do was repair an irrigation ditch. When his shovel hit a collection of heavy stones, he initially was irritated that they were in his way. But when he looked at them properly, he realized that the rocks had been arranged as a case for something else entirely. Lifting the stones away, one by one, he eventually unveiled the solid gold treasure that's known to the world as the King of Na Seal. The exact origin of the decorative object is unknown, but the most commonly accepted story is that it's an ancient Chinese artifact that was presented as a gift to a Japanese envoy by Emperor Gungwu of Han. That was in the year 57. The ancient date would be consistent with the five symbols etched onto the surface of the seal, which identify it as not only the seal of the King of Na, but also that the King of Na rules the state of Wa. That's what Japan used to be called when it was under the control of the Han Dynasty. How it came to be in a field so many centuries later is a mystery that will probably never be solved. In February 2019, the Turkish Navy took a camera crew beneath the waves to shoot a documentary. The documentary makers got some priceless footage, but not for the reasons that were initially intended. Quite by chance, the Navy came across a sunken and long-forgotten German U-23 submarine from the Second World War 120 feet below the surface, and around two and a half miles away from the coast of Agba. It's now thought that the submarine was one of six that made up Adolf Hitler's infamous Lost Fleet, which was sent to attack Soviet shipping fleets toward the end of the conflict, but then essentially abandoned as the war came to a close. None of the submarines returned home, and we still haven't been able to trace them all. We do, however, know how deadly they were. More than 50 Soviet ships are known to have been attacked and sunk by the fleet, and they only lost their potency when Romania turned against Germany in 1944 and cut the submarines off from their route home. There's now a debate about whether or not to raise the sole sub, which is almost certainly a sea grave. Almost none of us enjoyed doing homework when we were at school, and we'd do almost anything to get out of it. Amazingly, an Irish boy went to such great lengths to avoid doing his homework in July 2020 that he went outside and discovered a 4,000-year-old longboat. 12-year-old Cathal McDonough was paddling in the lake behind his home in County Roscommon when he came across a lump of wood in the water at around knee height. Through following the wood along, he quickly realized he'd come across a boat and ran back home to get help from his parents. They struggled together to pull the 18-foot-long ship out of the water, but when they did, they marveled at the fact that it seems to have been carved out of a single log. It's thought that it was used in ancient times to access the Cranach in the lake or perhaps to move between the ring forts that are known to have existed in this area in the decent past. None of this changes the fact that Cothel should have been behaving himself and doing his homework, but given the significance of his accidental discovery, we can probably let him off. An 11-year-long treasure hunt finally came to an end in June 2020, when an intrepid explorer located and recovered the elusive Forest Fen treasure. Millionaire antique dealer and artist Foreign Fen hid the treasure chest away in a top-secret location within the New Mexico region of the Rocky Mountains in 2009. His only motivation for doing so is that he wanted to create a treasure hunt, and it entertained him to think that people would go looking for it. To help people out, Fenn included a series of cryptic clues in a book of poetry he released that same year. Many people went looking for the treasure over the course of the decade that followed, but Forrest had made it extremely difficult to find. 
He says thousands of people have contacted him directly over the years for more clues, but he never gave any, and he was as surprised as anyone when he got a phone call to confirm it had been retrieved. Mr. Fenn refuses to disclose exactly what he hid inside the chest, but it's thought to have included several valuable works of art and some priceless antique jewelry. Altogether, the collection is worth more than $1 million. There are some types of historical artifacts that you'd love to come across while hiking and some that you'd absolutely dread. Unexploded bombs definitely fall into the latter category. When those unexploded bombs are found inside an active volcano, there's even more reason to worry. The two American-made weapons were discovered inside Mauna Loa in Hawaii in March 2020 by hiker Koiki Singson, who says he can't understand how nobody has noticed them before. It's a miracle that the bombs have never gone off. There was a crust of lava over the top of them, which means they've been subjected to enormous heat at some point over the past 70 years. After doing some digging, he found out that the bombs had been dropped deliberately in 1935 in the hope that they would redirect the flow of a pool of lava away from the settlement of Hilo. The audacious plan worked, but evidently not all the bombs exploded as planned if they were to explode now, they might destabilize the volcano, so the military was called to dispose of them as safely as possible. The amount of interaction there was between ancient humans and woolly mammoths has been debated for decades. At one point, it was assumed they stayed out of each other's way. But in recent years, we've come round to the idea that humans not only hunted the mammoths, but used their bones to make structures as well as viewing them as a good source of meat. Of all of the mammoth bone structures we've ever seen, though, this phenomenon of an Ice Age site in Russia is the most impressive. This is a bone circle, 40 feet wide and made up of bones from 60 different mammoths. Almost every single bone is present, and the monument was clearly significant to somebody. We just don't know who that somebody was, why they built it, and why it appears to have been such a singular creation. The site has become known as the Konstenki 11 and was finally found in early 2014 after being built something like 25,000 years ago. Despite the extensive size of the site, no human would have been able to stand up inside it. At its highest, it would have only been around two feet tall. Because of that, some people think that the mammoth skin might have been stretched across the bones to protect the meat that was hidden inside it, keeping it safe and fresh. Dutchman Arthur Brand is a man with a reputation. It's said that he's the finest art detective in the world. He never gives up on a missing work of art, and in 2019, he found himself back in the news after solving a 15-year-old case. In 2004, two limestone artworks, both of which are over 1,300 years old, were stolen from a church in Burgos, Spain. The religious icons weighed over 100 pounds each and can't have been easy to take, but they vanished nevertheless. The church known as Santa Maria de Lara is one of the oldest Catholic churches in Spain, so its artworks are considered especially valuable. It took Brand years to find them, but when he did, they were in the garden of an English couple in North London. They would bought them as garden decor in good faith for around $120,000 without knowing that they were stolen or far more valuable than that. They immediately gave the pieces back, although it's understood they were financially compensated. The resolution of the case is a further string in the bow of Arthur, who's been described as the real-life Indiana Jones. Officially speaking, the painting Portrait of a Lady by famed artist Gustav Klimt was missing and considered to be stolen for more than 20 years. In reality, we now no longer know whether it was ever stolen at all. That's because in January 2020, it was found hidden inside a wall at the very same art gallery it was reported as being stolen from in 1997. There was an enormous panic at the Ricci Odi Gallery of Modern Art in Piacenza when the piece was taken. Because it's irreplaceable, it has a value of more than $60 million. But the museum is now wondering if someone put it in the wall for safekeeping or whether this was an elaborate prank that went badly wrong. 
If it was a prank, we doubt that anybody's going to come forward and own up to it now. The painting might still be considered lost for now if it wasn't for the diligent work of some gardeners who were clearing ivy from the walls when they noticed the hole and moments later the painting. Whether it had been there the whole time or had been placed there deliberately in the recent past for someone to find is unknown. When the world entered lockdown because of the pandemic in early 2020, it was an opportunity for all of us to spend more time indoors and enjoy some quality family time. Not everybody enjoyed that experience, but we know of a family in France who definitely did. That's because the children of the family made use of the time to discover solid gold bars with a value of more than $100,000. The children, who live in the town of Vendome, were trying to build a fort or den in their bedroom and ran around the house looking for materials they could use to make it with. They found the gold wrapped up in old bedsheets. When they showed their father, he initially thought his wife's long-lost antique knife set might have been found, but this was a far grander treasure. After he got over his initial shock, he spoke to his mother, who confirmed that she'd bought the gold as an investment during the 1960s, but had lost it years ago and given up any hope of finding it again. It's worth a lot more now than it was back then. Professional archaeologists are expected to make regular discoveries, and perhaps even a few significant ones. When an amateur does it, it's far more unexpected and often far more exciting. Amateur metal detecting couple Adam Staples and Lisa Grace left the professional with egg all over their faces in September 2019 when they came across one of the most massive hordes of ancient silver coins in British history. They'd only gone into a field close to their home in Somerset because they wanted to teach some friends how to use their equipment but they got a positive reading almost immediately. After doing some digging, they came across more than 2,500 silver coins in incredibly good condition. Even the least valuable of them is worth approximately $1,000, but the rarest and most valuable would sell for several times that amount. The value of their unearthed collection has been approximated at around $7 million. The majority of the coins come from the 11th century, with some stamped with the face of William the Conqueror, who seized power in England after his successful 1066 invasion. If jellyfish creep you out, you might want to look away for the next few seconds. As cute as they might sometimes look, jellyfish can be deadly. It isn't necessarily true that the largest ones are the most dangerous, but we still wouldn't want to get anywhere near this human-sized giant barrel jellyfish that appeared off the southwest coast of England in July 2019. Underwater photographer Dan Abbott has no such concerns, though. He was happy to swim alongside the creature along with biologist Lizzie Daly, who worked together to document the size and shape of the marine colossus. Barrel jellyfish like this are the largest species of jellyfish, but they usually reach a maximum length of around three feet. Why this one is so huge is unknown. Happily, it probably couldn't do much harm to you if you collided with it. While every kind of jellyfish stings, the sting of a barrel jellyfish is very mild. It's also far more interested in eating plankton than it is chasing human beings around the water. Experts are still puzzling over the discovery of a statue of the Virgin Mary in a river in Spain in June 2020. Was it hidden away here for safekeeping or thrown into the water many years ago as an act of sacrilege? Finding the answer might be difficult, because until it was found by a fisherman, it had been in the water for a very long time. The granite statue, which is known as a Madonna, was made in the Gothic style somewhere around 700 years ago. Based on the thick coating of mud, moss, and marine life that coated its surface, it must have spent the majority of that time in the river. Based on the fact that the back of the statue is smooth, it was probably built to sit inside an alcove in a church. No church in the Galicia area has any record of losing such a statue, though. The fact that it must have been deliberately removed from somewhere, coupled with the fact that the Virgin Mary's face has been damaged, probably supports the idea that this was a deliberate act of violence against the statue. We won't hold our breath waiting for the police to catch the perpetrator, though. 
subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.